Today we continue our series on self-esteem. The reason why we're doing this mini-series is because many people in the PanicAttackRecovery.com community have revealed self-esteem problems. This makes sense because we believe self-esteem is at the heart of many difficulties. We feel that if one can address this issue, then he or she can improve his or her life in a variety of ways. PanicAttackRecovery.com what you might be starting to note from watching our video series on self-esteem is that we're not making suggestions that might seem that obvious. This is because we believe the route to healthier self-esteem can be reached as a result of healthy habits that can improve a variety of areas of your life, not just self-esteem. This leads to our next suggestion, keeping commitments to yourself. This is as simple as making sure that when you plan to do something, you actually do it. If you are constantly setting goals or making promises that you are going to do various things and you don't follow through, this is really going to make you feel down. Like you can't ever have the wherewithal to see things through. The problem is that at times you won't feel like following through even with things you enjoy doing. So, you have to push yourself at first. Once you get going on something, this can make all the difference in the world. This relates to something called anhedonia, which essentially refers to the loss of interest in previously rewarding or enjoyable activities. This can happen to those with major depressive disorder. However, to an extent, a reduction in enjoyment can happen to those with anxiety and ADHD. In such a case, you might notice you just don't feel like doing something you normally enjoy. But the longer you remain away from an activity, the rustier you, you might become this with a task. This means that when you do feel motivated enough, it's like you're starting all over again. The better alternative is to learn to set goals that are realistic for you and to ensure that you accomplish them on a regular basis. Keep your schedule light to begin with and then just uh, adjust it according to your individual progress. When we recommend goals, we recommend thinking about all aspects of your life, personal, family, and professional. By accomplishing goals, you'll feel much better. This naturally can provide a boost for your self-esteem. We hope that you've enjoyed this third video on self-esteem and look forward to presenting a new video in this series next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.